Hey everybody, uh, Soda Hunter here. Tonight I'm in El Dorado, Arkansas. And if you always wonder why I always look over there to look at that, I have a uh, computer screen over here because I can't remember off the top of my head where I am until I look at that right there. Uh, I'm stupid. Anyway, um, tonight I have something that a lot of uh, Soda reviewers have tried before, but that's mostly because they live near places that sell this. I live nowhere near a place that sells this until recently. Um, there's a truck stop in Wilcox, at, at, an, at a Wilcox exit in Robertsdale, Alabama. And they all of a sudden start carrying some Rocket Fist stuff. I am at least, um, seven hours away from a Rocket Fist. At least, probably a little longer than that. Well, actually, I think the closest one to me, uh, hours-wise is either Nashville or, um, Houston. And, because I'm right in between those two, like Nashville, Houston, I'm like right here, you know. So, I don't get a lot of Rocket Fist stuff until now. This this store started carrying a couple of things. And uh, one of the things they carried that I absolutely had to get because so many people have tried it before is bacon soda. Not baking soda. <laughs> uh, in the South, I mean, we, <laughs> we don't necessarily pronounce uh, all the G's on everything. Bacon soda, you know. We'll say it real quick. Bacon soda. It is artificial. Now, and make sure you know it's artificial bacon soda this is part of the lester's fixins uh soda brand made uh by rocket fizz bottled by rocket fizz if i'm not mistaken um yes intellectual property and bottled by rocket fizz soda pop so how about that they actually carried official rocket fizz sodas and there was a few of them there um, there was actually another one of these. There's a lot of Lester's fixings. This will be the first one I have ever had, and I'm scared to death because I know this is not going to taste good at all. Ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, citric acid, sodium benzoate as preservative, caramel color, natural flavor, red 40. Nothing about any salt or any smoke flavor or anything. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. This is going to be disgusting. I can already tell it right off the top of my head. So... Let's see what this is going to be all about here. All right. That smells disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um. <coughs> God, that smells disgusting. All right. Um. Let me try this. This you know, dissect it a little bit here. It's not quite 100% bacon, but it is meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a meat soda and that's what I'm smelling it's almost like a like a jerky type smell actually I, I think I pinpointed it it's um, if you have a dog and you ever feed him like the little dog jerky bites and stuff like that that's what it smells like that's exactly what it is it smells like dog beef jerky that is not a good sign at all. I'm not going to pour it anywhere just because it's a clear bottle and you can see it, what color it is. It's the color of bacon. <sighs> okay. All right. I have a Gatorade for emergency if I need to wash that down. So let's go. Uh... That's not good. <laughs> oh, the aftertaste too. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Oh, that's horrible. And the aftertaste is so weird. The after, okay, it initially hits you as sweet, but then you're like, that's not good. That's not good sweet. That's bad sweet. That's really bad sweet. And the aftertaste is kind of a combination of, of a diet, smoky, this diet smoky flavor. That kind of has a hint of beef jerky. <laughs> it's still there. I just took one sip, and as I breathe, I can feel the the beef jerky smoke it, smoky diet soda in my throat. That's horrible. Wow, that's bad. Okay, hang on. No. Oh my goodness. It's not necessarily... I understand what it's trying to get at. 
I understand that it thinks it's going to taste like bacon. And it really doesn't, though. It... It's hard to describe. It tastes like meat. It tastes like some kind of jerky. Some kind of really cheap, um, thin jerky. It tastes like it smells. It tastes like the... Uh, I've never had dog jerky myself. <laughs> I've never tried that. Um, but it tastes like that would taste like. You know what I mean? Like if you smelt that and you figure what that might taste like. This tastes just like that. My verdict on that is do not buy. <laughs> I don't care how much of a dare you think. Uh, maybe as a dare, yeah, sure. As a prank gift, sure. If you're going to drink a soda, do not buy that. Do not buy bacon soda. Lesser's fixing bacon soda. That is absolutely horrible. There's a way you can combine salt and sweet together. And that is not it at all. I taste the salt and sweet together. And salt and sweet together is um, the Cicero Beverage... I keep mispronouncing that, I'm sorry. The Cicero Beverage Company's Salted Caramel Root Beer. That is really good. You can combine sweet and salt together and have it be really good. Lester's Fixin' Bacon Soda did not do that. And unfortunately, later on down the road, I have a chocolate bacon soda from them that... Mm, I don't know. Maybe the chocolate overpower it. But as a bonus of this, I'm not going to rate this or anything. I'm just going to try it on camera. They also carry this. This is Lester's Fixin's Bacon Cotton Candy. I'm scared to death of this. I don't know what to expect. You want, you want to hear the ingredients? Well, first off, it says right here, artificial and natural flavors, no cholesterol, fat-free food. Cotton candy is a gluten-free food. It's like, it's healthy. <laughs> yeah, let me read you the ingredients here if I pronounce half of this stuff. Sugar, salt, hydrolyzed soy protein, I plus G, which is disodium inosinite. Inosinite, I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sure. And disodium guanolite. Guanolate, uh, natural smoke flavor and bacon flavor, which is autolyzed yeast extract, sorbitol, hydrolyzed, 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 yeah, hydrolyzed soy protein, lipolyzed butter oil, parentheses milk, natural smoke flavor again, that's on here twice for some reason, soy lex lecithin, partially hydrogen hydrogenated, uh, Hydrogenated, hydrogenated, yes. Um, vegetable oil, which is soybean and or cottonseed. Thiamine, hydrochloride, and natural flavors. And then all these dyes. Uh, <laughs> and that's proof it is a Rocket Fizz product. You see all the Rocket Fizz on it. This is, this is going to be horrible. Let's see. Don't that look appetizing? Doesn't that just look awesome? Don't that make you want to just dig in, doesn't it? A big lumpy ball of that. <laughs> it it smells about like the soda does, and it's pink. Hmm. All right, here. Let's uh. Huh. I'm scared of this, but let's try it. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's horrible. Hang on. You know what's crazy? Upon further chewing, it's not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> the initial flavor of it is so overpowering. It like coats your whole mouth. And you're like, oh my goodness, what is this? It's disgusting. And you start chewing it, and you're like, wait a minute. It's sweet, and it's salty. I hate to say it, but this is actually tasting kind of good now. It actually is. Um, second bite here. I can handle this. This is actually pretty good. <laughs> That's crazy. It smells horrible, and the initial... The initial uh, bite of it coats your whole mouth into something you think you're going to hate. And then as it kind of dissolves, we start realizing it actually tastes pretty good. It's a nice combination of salt and sweet together. 
as opposed to that baking soda, which is horrible. That's weird that they got this flavor right, how you think it should taste, but that baking soda is just so bad. Well, I'm not going to rate this in particular, other than because uh, it's not soda or anything. And uh, this is a one soda review, and it's going to be the baking soda, and that is a do not buy. This, if you see this though, check it out. It's actually really unique and interesting. I can keep eating that. That's actually pretty good. That's shocking. I was dreading this more than the soda. Wow. It actually gets better the more you eat it. That's very interesting. If you see that anywhere, any of uh, people that watch this that might be in my area uh, around uh, southern Alabama, go to Wilcox Exit, Exit 53 on I-10 and pick that up in Robertsville, Alabama. If you're traveling through there, they got that. If you go to Rocket Fizz, pick that up. That's pretty good. Uh, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter. Facebook, like, I'm sorry, I got cotton candy in my teeth. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't wash it down with that baby. So. <laughs> God, it was bad. Uh, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter. Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and be sure to follow the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks. And uh, check out the website for uh, hundreds of more soda reviews and other reviews also at thesodajerks.net. And until uh, next time, happy hunting.